Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am back with Mixed Media May and going to do some jelly printing on my big new jelly plate. It's 12 by 9. Um, this this plate is uh, listed on my favorite things, on Gail's favorite things on my website, which is always in the description box. So I'm super anxious to get to playing with this. And so first of all, let's say hi and hugs to Marlene, Valerie, Molly, and Olivia. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. And yeah, so excited. Um, so kind of what I'm thinking is I would like to do some uh, jelly prints that maybe I'll scan and put in my shop. Um, so digitals, that's what I'm thinking. And so this nine by 12 will fit an eight by 10 piece of paper just fine. And so um, I will also probably get some tags out of it, I'm thinking. So let's just see what we get. It's gonna have to be, it's gonna be have to be impressive for me to decide that it can go in my shop. Okay, so we have got the jelly plate. I am going to put the jelly plate sideways this way so that you can see the whole thing and that it's easier for me to um, to work on too. So I've got a piece of um, wax paper underneath because sorry, I just hit you. That'll happen. <laughs> that might just happen. Okay, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna actually take off this back one too and just put it down on the wax paper. Hopefully, we won't get too much of a glare from the lights. Once we get it painted, it will quit glaring. Oh yeah, it's not bad now. Okay, maybe I can go in just a tad more. There we go. Okay. So now just going to set all that over there. Okay. So the, the, um, I decided to use my favorite colors. I'm going to go turquoise and pink and maybe a little yellow, maybe a little black and white. We shall see. So we've got the paper at the ready. I've got my stencils down here. I've got Mark making things. So I'm just like surrounding myself on the floor with everything. So, so that's good. Okay, let's just start. Let's just dive right in. So this Americana Bahama Blue is like one of my favorite colors. I have gone through so many of these. Of course, my um, paints, I haven't used them a ton since I haven't been doing mixed media. So they are a little, a little dicey. We'll see how they work. I'm not sure which of these brayers is going to be better, but we'll just, we'll just get started. I'm so excited. Just get, uh, you need, a, I guess, a little bit more paint to cover this big old thing. I really like my other one too, but it leaves white space around an 8x10. So, you know, so there's that. Okay, and then of course I'm gonna have my my wipe off piece of paper too, which I will just do like so. I am going to, oh my gosh, I just made such a mess. I picked something up and it had every little bit of it was all sorts of crummy from paint so I'm just going to do this in the background I don't know this is a just a rubber stamp from Hobby Lobby and I feel like I didn't quite have enough paint okay so like a tag won't fit on that but that'll it'll be interesting to see how this works Yeah, 
just having a play session is really all it is. Oh, look, it didn't come off. Only in the corner. That's weird. Okay, well, never had that happen before. <laughs> Leave it to when I turn on the turn on the camera. Okay, well, maybe it's just because it's a new plate, huh? I don't know. Let's put some more paint on it and see what happens. Oh, this one's not even open. I think I might open it, though, because it's a lighter color of um, turquoise, and I think that might be kind of fun. So I'm just going to snip it open here. Well, we're off to a rip-roaring start here, aren't we? That's all right. Sometimes it takes a bit. Gonna use more paint and see what happens. It might be the paint too because my paint is so old and sad. <laughs> hmm. Just very interesting. It's like the the paint wants to separate on this. Okay, let's see how we do there. Ooh. Kind of very cool. Can you see that light pattern behind? That's kind of cool how that turned out. <laughs> well, and that was because, it, you know, it didn't didn't work like I thought it was going to, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's a good result. Okay. Um, well, let's just jump in with the pink. Why not? Well, that ought to be enough. <laughs> yeah, I think it was just, maybe it just needed to get a little paint on it. Okay, now what do we want to do with that? Stencil. Should have got that stencil out first, but but I didn't. So there you go. Sorry guys, I'm having trouble finding my fades here. Oh, I love this one. There we go. Oh, this is a good one too. That one's fun. As will use all of my big ones. Okay. Love this one too. And this one. Okay. I found them. All right, let's just for fun pop this on there. It's probably all dry now. <laughs> That would be dots. That would be lots of dots. Okay, so now what I want to do, I'm going to slide that over a little bit and put this down and put that on there 
and roll it and see if we get a little something or not. Ooh, a little bit. That's pretty. Okay. Cool. Okay, and then I guess we'll get some of this up too, huh? I wanted to do kind of a kind of springy springy one okay well that obviously needs more they all do at this point let's do let's do some yellow oh this one's not open either sheesh ew I was trying to grab ones that were open to use them up but Apparently didn't have the colors that I wanted. Okay. Ooh, doggy sad sprite. <laughs> get. I'm hoping this picks up the crumbs underneath the pink in that. I'm wearing an apron today because I knew I was going to get messy. Ooh, that's pretty. Isn't that fun? Yeah, needs more, but it's fun. Okay. Yeah, I'm just setting them everywhere. Let's see. Let's do... Let's do some of this yellow. And it's a little more subtle. It's not quite so in-your-face yellow. Sorry. I just want to see if I can pick up even more of that. Let's let's might want to go through a stencil on this because I don't want to lose all that back pattern. Let's use this one. I love this one. That's fun. Okay, let's take this off. And I'm going to put this one down. And then I'm going to put this on top of it. And use this one on there see what we get. I feel like I can get down in the holes of the stencil better with my fingers than I can the brayer. So I don't often use the brayer to be honest. Very little. Very little. 
Okay, so that's fine. Okay, well, it's coming along. It needs more turquoise, doesn't it? Um, and this one needs more pink, I feel like. There's a little bit of pink. What is one that I have that has like, oh, I know what I could do. Let's do this. I'm going to set that there. Let's see. I have to dig in my mark makers for a second. Okay. Let's do this. Let's put some pink on. And I have some, I have some kind of fun. It's like glitter stuff that I wanted to try and see if it works. Um, okay. Okay, now what I want to do is take this bubble wrap and I'm going to just press it on the plate and then I'm going to bring it over here and press it on this print. Ooh, yeah, that's fun. need to do the edges. Okay, that's kind of fun. It needs some little bit of black or white to kind of make it pop, I feel like. But, okay, let's, let's do this. Okay, really pink background. And I need to pull these off. These are like paint grits from left over on the painty thing here. Well, we'll see. We'll use that later. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. What do I want to do? I feel like I need something on there. I don't know exactly what. Just looking at my options in my um, mark making stuff. I don't know how this is going to turn out. It might totally ruin it, but we're, I'm going to try this. This is the gray paint. Use this little block and see what we get. 
not perfect, but that's okay. I was going to tell you too, I use uh, dust calendar papers underneath because then as those get painty, we're going to do a project later with those. Now that, I like that, but now I want that to dry and I think I might want some white over the top of it is what I think. All right, so now this, I'm not real sure what we want to do with, but we can maybe put another layer on one of those other sheets. I don't really want that on this one. Okay, so let's see. Um, how about we do this, this one, and I'm going to use this one that's just all kind of pink. Let's see if we can break up the pink a little bit. You can see I take excellent care of my stencils. <laughs> you know, they do just fine. They do just fine with the layer paint on them. Okay, well that's fun. Now we need like some turquoise and pink under that. Or I mean turquoise and yellow. Um, I am going to see if I can pick a little of that up on this one. Well, that's kind of dirty and grungy and awesome. Okay, I feel like we need to go back to turquoise a little bit. Um, and see what, what's this one? Oh, this is metallic. I have a couple of metallics. This one's called aquamarine. This one is what topaz okay so that's a thought a little metallic might be fun huh i think i want the lighter one and i have an idea we'll see if it works Ooh, isn't that pretty i love the metallic paint i think it's so pretty Going in with the good old doily. That's what we're going to do. And let's see. This one, I'm going to use this. I don't know 
know how much of that I'm going to pick up with that. Not much. A few splotches here and there. Okay. That's okay. Because what I really wanted to do was put this one down on it. See what happens. Ooh, that's pretty. It's a lot though. It needs some toning down. So we'll figure that out in a minute here. Okay. So let's see. Wonder if I can get a little bit on this one. Yep, a little bit more. Ooh, it just kind of catches the light, doesn't it? Okay. All right. Um, I think I'm going to go with a white. Because I need, I need to do some white here. I'm just trying to decide what stencil I would like. Um, thinking about maybe this one. Let's go for it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Actually, part of me is tempted to pull, uh, um, pull one off of here first because I think it might pick up the metallic. Let's do that first. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get some of that turquoise metallic up. I do like having this big plate though for the eight and a half by 11 inch paper. Okay, let's see if it, oh, oh, that's pretty. Yes. Isn't that nice? That's really pretty, really pretty. It's that corner a little bit. There we go. I actually missed this whole side a bit. Wow, that's pretty. I don't know how that would scan, but in real life, it's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, I gotta start laying these other places. I've run out of room over there. Okay, so now I wanna try the white. Um, why can't I get it open? Ugh, that hoit. <laughs> my granddaughter used to say that. My belly hoits. fun all those little family things isn't it that kids say that you just it becomes part of your family's folklore <laughs> okay I'm gonna put this down like this Then I want to put this on and 
squish it into those little stencil holes. Oops. Coordination. You guys should see the gyrations I have to do to get around my arm that holds my camera. <laughs> you would say, not bad for an older lady. Um, okay, that tones that down a bit. Yeah, I'm liking that one. I'm going to consider that one done. Okay, we'll lay it over here. Out of our way, because we still have others that we're very busy doing. Okay. I'm going to take that off of there. I'm going to lay this one on there and see if we can tone that down a skosh. Okay, let's see how that does. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, that toned that down quite a bit. Now I just feel like we need what? We need some metallic maybe. Oh, I know which one I might do. Okay. I've got this, which is a what you call it? Needlepoint. It's a needlepoint thing. And I'm just gonna I do love the metallic. No idea if it's going to at all I need a new roll-off. Um, no idea if it's at all going to pick up on the digitals. But, so what I want to do with this is put it here, smoosh it down, get it painty, and then bring it over here and lay it on the paper. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, um, try to decide. I think that there's still enough on there. just does a little another little layer can you see that that okay now I think we might as well grab a piece of paper here and pull that up right I should watch the time. I get really sunk into doing this and can do it all day. Okay, that's fun. Now we just need some other things on it. Okay. So. What else? Let's see. I have this doily too that I've used and that's really pretty. That could be pretty on one of these that needs something. Um, actually, I wonder if I could, I think I'm gonna do, oh, I know. Well, I was thinking of trying the, um, this glitter stuff. Fabric spray paint, I have no idea. It still sounds like it's good. Don't know. Don't know. We'll see. I don't know that it's going to do a whole lot on this, but I'm just going to spread it out in case. 
yeah, it's not going to add a lot of color, is it? But it's going to add shine. Let's see, I'm going to call that one done too. That's my wipe off, but I love it. I, I love the wipe offs. <laughs> It's okay to have a little white shining through. I have to tell myself that. So I don't think that's going to show very well on that. Let's do this. Let's put that on this one. This, this one. And I'm just going to try and pick it up. Because I think, I thought it would have more color. But it's really just the glitter. Which is fun. Ooh. That is pretty. Can you see that? Okay, we need that to dry. Um, I think I'll pick a little of it up on this one too because I, I got too much. Okay, let's see how that does. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Some of the paint came back off on there. <clears throat> okay, so what do we need to do for this one is my question. Pink, we need pink, but we don't need a ton of pink. We need just a little pink that would come through. Oh, maybe on this. Um. That's too much. That's too much. All of my, all my stencils are too much. What if we tried one of these? I don't know, just for fun. Okay, I'm just going to use regular pink. See how this works? I don't know. I haven't tried it before. I also like turquoise red and yellow that's another combo that I really like okay we're starting a new roll off paper okay so if we were to have this as a digital we would want it to be like that Again, I don't know that these will be the quality that I would want to put up as a digital, but we'll see. We'll just see how it all turns out. Oh, that's kind of fun. Okay, and then I'm going to just move this over to here. And we're going to do the other side. Well, that actually is really fun. I might um, doodle around those a little bit. That's fun. Okay. So you just never know till you try. That's the thing. Okay. I'm going to... Let's do... Let's do this guy. There's a lot of paint on the stencil. The 
just left left pink without much of a pattern. Okay, so let's see what happens when we do this. Oh, isn't that kind of fun? That's really fun. So now I'm thinking, wouldn't it be fun to watercolor where it's white? I think I'm going to, this is kind of weird, but looking at how this is oops I didn't mean to do that much but that's okay I just want to dip this corner where there was white I don't know. Okay. Just playing. I just put some on the corner and put some on the bottom just for fun. So these are a work in progress, aren't they? They've got work to be done on them. Okay, let's spread this out and see if by chance we can pick up the rest of that flower imprint. Okay, that was something new trying that. I really liked that. Something new for me, trying that flower stencil. Look at that one. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I want something right there, and I think I know what I want. Um, let's use the darker metallic for a change just to see what it's like. Ooh. Ooh, that's a gorgeous color, isn't it? Ooh, that's beautiful. We've done that, but I want it in this corner. Those flowers are fun. That was fun. Okay. Um, so now I have that again. And don't know that I want another one like that. So I'm going to stick this on there. And see what we get. Oh, let's use, let's use this one. Have this big old plate and still I didn't hit it right in the middle. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, that's kind of fun. Patterned and yeah, that's cool. Like that. Okay. And and now what? Now what, guys? Now what? Um, let's do a white. Let's do white and let's do that light yellow and see if we get just a what we get. This one's old and not wanting. Look at that goober. Ugh. That was disgusting. Okay. I'm going to have to work on that bottle pink a little bit. <laughs> can mix that up at all. if we can pick up that blue with the yellow that's that's what I'm trying to do we'll see if it works out uh, what time do we have okay better keep a closer eye on it now because I want to show you everything now some of them I'm gonna feel like aren't done I'm pretty sure oh look at how that picked that up that's cool. It's got a teeny weeny bit of pink here and there. Yeah, that one came out cool. Okay, okay, let's see. What do we have that needs stuff? Um, definitely. Definitely need, I think I might do, um, let's do the yellow. Wish my white was better. Wonder if I can get some out that's not icky. I just want to tone that yellow down slightly. We're into another glue goober, but I mean, I think they'll work. Glue goober, paint goober. Oh, that's better. a bit of yellow so I'm going to use this one because it's got big open spaces. I'll probably get the question how many layers do you put on and I don't think there's an answer to that. I think it's just whenever you're pleased with the print that you have and it's different. It's different with every one of them. 
because you can see like some of them I actually only did one layer so yeah so anyways I think we're gonna do this one again on there Ooh, see now that is pretty. That's, I'd say that one's done. Okay. So now, what else do we have that we could put that on? Um, Maybe this one. That one just, that one needs way more layers to me. So, okay. So I need to go back to I need to go back to turquoise for this one, I feel like. And it's just what do we want to do with the marks on it? I was gonna show you these two. These I made with those decorative scrapbooking scissors, you know, the decorative edge. And I just cut the fun foam and made it so that it would make you know lines through let's do one of those just for fun um let's use pink i don't know that we've used this pink yet and we can just see i don't know which one we won't, are going to want to do, but we'll just figure that out in a minute. <laughs> I don't know which which uh, mark maker I want, and I don't know which print I want. How's that? Okay, um... We could do that one. So let's do, let's do this one. See that edge? Okay, I'm just gonna take that and go like this. Thanks, babe. And we're gonna use this one. And let's see how it comes out. Ooh, that's fun. Look at how fun that is. All right, good. That one's done then. Okay. Set that to dry. Okay, we're down to two. I think we can get two done in just a few. Okay, let's, um, let's try and pick the rest of that up with this one and see how that does. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. Okay, this one needs turquoise, doesn't it? Um, let's use a super light turquoise. And that ought to be enough. <laughs> My sweet husband brought me my smoothie and I am just in the thick of it here. That's paint, paint goober right there. I'm going to try and get the corners because 
I think I'm going to try and clean up the edges of this a little bit with a tag, maybe. We didn't do any tags because I just got busy doing other things. Okay, so now what I want to do is, well, first of all, I'm going to clean this off. Let me get over the camera. See how this has a lot of paint on it? I'm just going to swipe it on that. And isn't that fun? Okay, I think that one's actually done. Okay, so then um, what I wanted to do is take, where's the other one? Oh, right here. Um, this is kind of the deckled edge. And I thought what I'd do is just go down this way. Oops, didn't quite press hard enough there running into my shelves. It's the story of my life. And just make a crisscrossy kind of a pattern. Let's see how that does on this. Often when I finish a session of jelly printing, I have prints that I feel like need more, but I'm just done. And so Sometimes I'll have to come back and, oh, well, that's interesting. Isn't that kind of interesting? Now I feel like it needs one more, <laughs> something to make it pop out again. Oh, that's funny. Okay, I'm going to use this other one that we're still working on. We're going to put it down, see where we get to on it. Hold it up, but it's really subtle. Okay. I think we're going to get crazy here and maybe do a little gray again. Guys, I am not going to be done in an hour. I want to keep playing with you guys. This might go a little over because I do want to show you the results. I still want to do a tag. Okay. I would use if I can get all the other things untangled from it. I'm going to use this one and I think I'll do this one. This is our one that dulled down quite a bit. Okay, I'm just going to do that. Now it needs something else. It needs white or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, goodness, I don't know. Okay, so then with this one, I'm going to just try getting a little bit of the paint off there. Oh, I gave it some stripes. That's what that did. <laughs> gave it some. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that getting crazy didn't work great. So, I guess I better pick this up with this. So, this one's going to be a work in progress. Because... There's not much that's pretty about that. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I'm going to try. If I can get it out of here. This white is bugging me. I'm going to try doing some white. If I can get it out. Oh, come out. 
Watch, I'll get a huge glob. This is a lesson in use up your paints before they get gooky. But, you know, I just haven't been doing a lot of mixed media lately. So there you go. Okay, so I'm just going to put this white on here. one again and see if I can bring this one back to life a little bit. Kind of. I mean, it's subtle, but it's kind of cool. Okay. So, I'm not sure that that one's done. Um... Let's do, let's grab this gray one. And kind of pick that up. And then I'm just going to do a tag around the edges and see what I can pick up. Okay, it's got more personality. Okay, so tag. I'm just going to grab a manila tag here and press around the edges and see if I can clean it up a little bit. Pretty, isn't it? I'm going to try and get those spaces. Okay, that's a cool background tag. Okay, let me get the ones that we did and I'll show them to you quick. It looks like we have three that I don't feel are quite done. Okay, so that was a, I'll do them this way. So that was a um, wipe off page. This was one of the flowers. Still needs a little something, but I might play with that with pen. This one, definitely going to do some doodling on. This one. This one. That. So, you guys, let me know if you think um, these are worthy of a of a digital and I would I would sure make one if you're interested but I don't want to go to all the trouble to make one if you're not <laughs> so then these need a little something that one is kind of cool the way it is I might leave it it's not going to be a digital because it'd be just too black but I think it's kind of cool and this one just needs something to folk focal it's got a lot of layers and it's cool, but it needs something to pop out. And then this one, I really like this one too. And, and it might be okay with the white, I don't know. I'm not sure on that one. 
So there we go. Thanks so much for watching. Have a grateful day and, and we'll see you in the next Mixed Media May. Bye, everybody.